this year for at least the last eight nine years of my ministry life i've been shouting nigeria has not been fair to the Igbo man nigeria has not been fair to the southeasterner and that god will answer on behalf of the southeast i have said it for the last nine years whenever you see people from the east they are wise men that's the truth wise men from the east check the story of abraham from the east wise men are always from the east we have millions of pastors in nigeria if we come out in large number and we pray and we say that government have killed our people too much and pastors begin to call international communities call the whole world the whole world will pay attention the reason why the world is not paying attention is because those big pastors that are only telling you that God will make Nigeria to be peace. That pastor that praying for peace of Nigeria will die with kidney failure. Amen. Amen. That your pastor, that your reverend father, that your priest, that your prophet, that your evangelist, that your man of God, that praying for peace of Nigeria, that pastor will be die with kidney failure. Amen. Listen and hear me. I am well prepared. Whenever you see people from the east, they are wise men. That's the truth. Wise men from the east. Check the story of Abraham from the east. Wise men are always from the east. No, this is not about tribal distinct. Wise men are always from the east. Every country I go, I see Igbos there. Wise men from the east. Give them the economy. They will show you wise men from the east. Ask Ngozi. I mean, what's her name? Eh? That's it. A woman with an impeccable character and wisdom on economy. Wise men from the east. Like what the Abia governor is already doing. Wise men from the east. If we must solve Nigeria equation, the Igbo must not be removed. They are part of Nigeria. Include them in the planning and in the brain plan of Nigeria. Wise men from the East. I start saying it this year. For at least the last eight, nine years of my ministry life, I've been shouting, Nigeria has not been fair to the Igbo man. Nigeria has not been fair to the Southeasterner, and that God will answer on behalf of the Southeast. I have said it for the last nine years. Listen. Then we were reading. You remember when James, they, they caught James, no, Peter and John. And they said to them, they should never preach in the name of Jesus. And when they were threatening them, they entered into council. And Gamaliel who was a leader of the law now listen to me very carefully because this is very prophetic what day was that 7th of may right 8th of may 8th of may take note of the date <laughs> gamaliel who was head of council or who was very respected in council because of his knowledge he was the one who schooled paul in the jewish religion said to them guys let us be careful he said because one rose like this thinking himself to be something he said he was caught and he was killed and his followers scattered and nothing became of that he said another one rose up and called his name he said he was caught and his followers scattered and nothing came out of that moment he said but this man we have caught him we have killed him but his followers are not dispersing they are increasing in strength he said let us be careful lest we find ourselves fighting against god and i said clearly i didn't say it in french i didn't say it in british i didn't say it in german i said clearly in that meeting in Abakiki, i said to them the present movement in the southeast is not god's movement for liberation so the leader will be caught and the power of it will decimate 
And yet, out of the ashes of that, God will raise another man out of the southeast whose agitation is after the order of God. The nation will gather around him, not only the southeast. And in that day, a southeasterner will, will rule Nigeria. Take note of it. When I say, 8th of May, Listen and hear me. I know you'll be like, why is this man saying this? We have millions of pastors in Nigeria. If we come out in large number and we pray and we say that government have killed our people too much and pastors begin to call international communities, Call the whole world. The whole world will pay attention. The reason why the world is not paying attention is because those big pastors that are only telling you that God will make Nigeria to be peace. That pastor that praying for peace of Nigeria will die with kidney failure. Amen. Amen. That your pastor, that your reverend father, that your priest, that your prophet, that your evangelist, that your man of God, that praying for peace of Nigeria, that pastor will be die with kidney failure. Amen. Amen. Let's not hear me. I am well prepared. After the room of human and keep as well. I am prepared well. I broke a spot on a book as for the kitab. Are you hearing me? Sapa do come off, man. Hallelujah. Ia mero fero geme folani. 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 Hallelujah. Awo guru fero ge gu folani. Hallelujah. Awo guru fero ge gu folani. Hallelujah. Awo guru fero ge gu folani. Hallelujah. Ia guru fero ge gu folani. Hallelujah. Ia mero fero geme folani. Ia mero fero geme folani. Hallelujah. Ia mero fero geme folani. Hallelujah. Ia mero fero geme folani. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 governors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. politicians. Hallelujah. governors. Hallelujah. politicians. In Nigeria. If you are watching, I want you to know that your delay is no more. Amen. Your case is over. Amen. Your barrenness is over. Amen. Your sickness is no more. Amen. The delay in your document is no more. Amen. The power of stagnancy is no more. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God. You know, I told you, you see how my face is looking. <laughs> I am looking more handsome. Yeah, let me put it like that today. You know, when you do fasting, two days, to, you begin to look more pretty. More, if it's a lady, pretty. If it's a man, handsome. So don't look at my face because of the fasting. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be like, why is the man of God looking like this? I am in the mountain. There is a lot of mosquitoes. A lot of um, rain, mosquito, and also, you know, this forest, this bush. This ant, there is an ant. So, but God is with me in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. I went to see how many people that I, uh, that is watching it, so that I will tell you what God said now. Your people have not shared it. None of you have shared it. It is the part of the evangelism. I don't know what is holding you not to share it. But nevertheless, if you don't want to share it, God will share it by himself. Amen. If you don't want to share, God will share, share it by himself. by himself. Now, the Lord said to me when I prayed, do you know why I prayed and I talk about pastors now? A man of God sent me a text message. I read it. He sent me for my level, that I have reached this level, and I'm praying to reach the level I am. That as a young man I am, I still the test I love. 
I didn't tell my pastor, I kept quiet. He said to me that the level I am, instead of me to use it and uh, get something from Nigeria politicians, I am praying for Biafra. I said, Jesus is a freedom fighter. Jesus come to pray for the freedom of his people. The reason why God raised me as a young man is to pray for the freedom of my people, is to release my people from bondage. That is the reason why God cannot raise old man. God did not send old man to save the whole world. He sent Jesus as a young man. Hallelujah. Amen. Now hear me. I want to know this. God is not out of confusion. God is almighty God. Open your Bible with me because my time. I told you I'm going to spend only 45 minutes. And it cannot be more than. Read for me the book of Psalm 53 verses 4 to 6. Psalm 53. Psalm 53 verses 4 to 6. Psalm 53. Uh -huh. From 4 to 6. Yes. I read the word of God. God bless you. Have the workers of iniquity to knowledge. Who eat up my people? Who eat up my people? Have Listen. Bread. Hold on. Psalm 54. Right? Sorry. Psalm 53. Psalm 53. Verses 4 to 6. Who eat up my people? Who did this to Nigeria? Who did this to Igos? Why is Igbo selling their brothers? Who did this to my people? Did you see that it is in the Bible? Have you seen where it is in the Bible? Who did this to you? Who did this to my people? So my people, I believe we all heard what the men of God are saying concerning Nigeria and the Igbo people because a lot of forces are rising up these two days which are saying that the evil people need to go if you saw i did a video maybe i'll put the link in the description so that you can go and watch that one after this um when tinibu's wife is asking the evils should leave lagos so that they can take their property they should take like chase them away as you all know she's the first lady of the federal republic of nigeria and she can do any thing and whatever she wants her husband to do her husband can actually grant her wishes for her so let's pray for nigeria because you heard what pastor on uh, chiton has to say and then what joshua igila has to say and then the eagle prophet because he starts even saying that if pastors could not embrace the growth of the evil people or trying to give them freedom this and that is going to happen to them i believe you heard from the horses mart yourself so all i'm saying is that let's pray for peace in nigeria whether we like it or not whether biafra or no biafra or biafra let's pray for peace for the meantime because we don't have any other country aside from nigeria right now Igbo people cannot say okay let's migrate to togo benin ghana Africos, kenya we can't so all you have to do is to manage the one that you are in right now we all know based on history and everything like they have not been fair to the Igbo man we understand that and this thing is fight between on um, two people then a particular person is actually telling hey this person is saying this that person is saying this you do like this you do like that so it's like they are trying to use the Igbo people as a scapegoat. That is why when this protest started, a lot of Igbo say that they are not going to come out to protest. And a lot of people were like, eh, why would I not go come out to protest? When they lock on a shop, when they travel, go back on a village, when they do this one, when they... like, see, these people are actually going through a lot. Emotionally, physically, they are going through a lot being in other states. And I feel like they need to actually do something. Calm down and analyze a whole lot of things because the Igbo man is actually suffering. They are suffering in Nigeria based on how they are treated their end. And then too, they don't want to actually agree to these people to actually maltreat them the way they are maltreating them. And there's something I've been asking because I've not gotten an answer to. Um, if you don't want somebody, why don't you allow that person to go? Do you think that the Igbo people cannot stand on their own? Or do you think if their nation 
comes to existence, which is Biafra, is going to flourish more than Nigeria. Is that the fear? Because I don't know why the federal government is still owing the evil people from giving them their freedom when they have been demanding for this freedom for the past 50 years. So please allow those people to go. They have been in your state. Any little thing, I don't want Igbos. I don't like Igbo. Igbos are too like their natures. Come on. They are human beings like you, okay? So you cannot say this particular person is bad, that particular person is bad. And the evils too, the way you come out to talk, okay, just look at what this pastor is saying, for example. Is it really nice or is it pleasant to the ear to actually hear? No, it is not. That is why we need to actually pray against some of all these things because all of us are going through these things, whether we like it or not. People in your village are suffering. So let's pray that some of all these things doesn't come to pass because if it comes to pass, it's going to distract a whole lot of things in Nigeria right now and a whole lot of things are just going to get spot and which me i don't wish for i don't pray for things to go out of hand right now because we are suffering right now as a nation and our president bola amechinibu it's not doing anything to actually ease the pain of the people or put things in place for the citizens of nigeria then adding another fire to what is already on ground i just don't understand and i can't wrap my head around it that is why i said let's pray for nigeria me i will not get out of frame let's manage what we have if Biafra is going to come, it will favor us. At least I can travel from one country to another. At least I share boundary. Or if your mother is from there, your father is from there, then, like you understand, you have dual citizenship of two countries, or you are, you, you can actually, you understand that kind of a thing. So I just don't know what is going to happen. And it's just a whole lot. But for me, oh, I, if they can actually listen, Nigeria should be divided into regions. It will help us a lot. So it will also calm down a lot of tension. If your region is not doing well, it's up to you to actually mobilize a lot of things to make sure that your region actually flourish and all that. So a lot of people are saying that eh, Igbo people don't have any min mineral resources. They cannot contribute anything. To Who told you that? Igbo people are one of the most notorious businessmen on the planet in the face of this earth. So you cannot tell me otherwise. You cannot even tell me that Igbo people are not good. They don't contribute anything. They don't bring anything to the growth of Nigeria. Hey, really? 99% of uh, investment growth in Lagos are owned by Igbo people. You want to say the country in general... Do you want to start doing that analysis? It's a whole lot. So let's be mindful of the kind of things that actually comes out of our mouth and also pray for Nigeria. That is what me, I'm going to say. And Baba Bola Ahmed Chinibu should actually do something. I know that the protest has already come to an end yesterday. Today is 11th of August, as we all know. All we are praying for, all we are asking for, it's that the federal government should temper justice with mercy and actually do a lot of things because... Prophecies have also been dropping concerning a protest that is coming up. It will take Nigerians and the federal government on our way. You know, like this one, they have given them dates. Hey, we're going to come out to protest on the 1st of August to 10th of August if the federal government does not see. It's just a warming up. And the one that is just going to come is just going to come by. Boom. Like, you just see it. It will just escalate. That is what is going to happen. So the federal government should actually do things and put a lot of things in place if they want some changes to be made or a lot of things should be in place in Nigeria. That is what me. I just have to say to the federal government of Nigeria, do something because your citizens are suffering. A lot of people are suffering. And a lot of people should actually take the Igbo people out of their mouth for a while because they have not done anything. They are human beings like you and I. So you cannot just hate or despise your fellow human being because he or she belongs to a particular ethnic group that you don't like or you don't see to it. And this thing is kind of a bit stupid and childishness um, sometimes when I think about it because these people who do intermarriage yoruba marry the Igbo, hausa marry Igbo, Igbo marry hausa Igbo marry yoruba other ethnic groups in nigeria then you come to say yeah you don't like these people and you have that person as a husband you have that person as a wife and then you say you don't like your people just imagine telling your spouses to their face that you don't like where they come from with so much hatred and passion in your eye when you say that with your body language and everything you embody that hatred what 
what do you think your spouse is going to think of you what do you think she he or she is going to like the way they are going to look at you it's going to change the way they are going to treat you or you're being scared that your wife is going to buy you and all your children or your husband is going to buy you and all because they belong to a different ethnic group we need to put this hatred between us the the the, the damage has been done and we can actually say that yes they did these people a lot of injustice they actually put them at the front fire you say that something is not good then the next thing you say you imagine when you and somebody have planned something that we are going to do this thing like this and then at the end of the day when the day of the thing come you you come and then you see that the person that actually ginger you that give you that moral that say that okay we are going to come out to do this thing like this and then you end up seeing that person supporting the other people how are you going to do Igbo people has always been the scapegoat between some ethnic groups in nigeria they will always come out to say that okay come let's do this thing come let's do that thing. then at the end of the day they put them at the front fire and that is why they say they are not coming out to protest so i understand them before they'll say eh hey, Igbo are sponsoring this protest this protest is sponsored by peter will be by this person by that person which is crazy for me let's let's kind of actually temper justice with mercy and also mind the kind of words that come out of our mouth at the end of the day towards this particular people you don't like somebody that does not mean that you should hate them with so much bad blood so that is just what i want to share with you guys this morning and please before i go if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for kindly subscribe comment like share and also turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you. Thank you for always tuning in. And thank you for always watching my video. God bless you as you do that all the time. So guys, please do where to share this video on all social media platforms. Like Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram. To make sure that it gets across to as much people as it could get to. Because a lot of people need to know what is happening and what god is actually saying concerning the evil people and the plot against them because i heard that there will be a protest on the 28th to 25 28 of this month i don't know the actual date Ibo must go that is the hashtag of the protest which i don't understand where do you want them to go to where do you want them to take their business to or you can pay them off or you can actually say to them at the end of the day if that is the case there is no problem so let's watch and see what happens on the 25th to 28th of august 2024 to see whether they are going to do what they are saying that they are going to do i don't know but that is just what i heard and i just decided to come here to share it with each and every one of you so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one shortly guys bye for now